Zimbabwe's government dealt a huge blow. In just one month of the new year, four ministers and a former top official perish due to coronavirus. On Wednesday, three laid to rest. The common phenomenon about these three is most importantly that they participated immensely in the liberation struggle, a war that was waged to dislodge a Rhodesian regime that had dispossessed the indigenous Zimbabweans of their major birthright, the land. The country's second wave of the coronavirus infections has again raised concerns over government's capability to handle the pandemic. Chuanga used the opportunity to call for unity. It does not discriminate between the powerful and the weak, the privileged and the deprived, the haves and they have not. It is a ruthless juggernaut. That leaves a trail of despair and desperation. But we will eventually conquer. We will eventually conquer it and prevail as a people. Even though the vice president publicly affirmed a vaccine procurement process, he did not give any details. Government is already in the process of acquiring the necessary vaccines for this pandemic. It's unclear on who will fund the vaccine program, but it's expected that the private sector will step in. Zimbabwe has received assistance offers on procuring the inoculations from China and Russia, but no deals have been confirmed. Mama Bolani, SABC News.